Hello folks, Jose here for WPBasics.org. In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about a plugin called Genesis Simple Edits. Now, have you ever uh, installed a fresh theme and then you've looked at the footer credits and it has this. It has the copyright, which is fine. It has the name of the theme you're using, which might be fine. It also has Genesis Framework, which depending on your thing might be fine also and it has all this other information. But what if you wanted to change this? Normally you would need to go into the code, which you could do, but if you're not a coder and you wanted to change this, you might run into some difficulty. So that's where Genesis Simple Edits comes in. It allows us to change such things as the footer credits and also metadata, such as the information that's found here. See this date, we can change that with uh, Genesis Simple Edits, or if we go into, um, any post you have the metadata up here but you also have the closing information after the content such as the tags how they're displayed you have these categories also so you may or may not want that so depending on what your case use is um, the Genesis simple edits plugin will help you so let's get started with how to use that plugin just before we start with the tutorial, I should add that the Genesis Simple Edits plugin should only be used if you are using the Genesis framework. If you do not have the Genesis framework, uh, I will be posting a separate tutorial for how to edit the footer uh, when you don't have that. So look for that tutorial. But this tutorial is for those of you that do have the Genesis framework. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go want to go to our dashboard and then we're going to want to go to our plugin section and then we're going to want to click on add new. It's going to bring up a screen so we can search for a new plugin and then here in the search box type in Genesis simple edits. So it should bring up this one, Genesis Simple Edits by Nathan Rice. So let's, uh, let's uh, activate that because I already have it downloaded, so, but you would have to install and activate it. I'm just going to activate it because I already downloaded it. So then once it's activated, it's right here, Genesis Simple Edits. So the first thing you want to do is go into this button that says Genesis, click on Simple Edits. Now. Down here, you will see um, what is currently there. For example, let me, what, let me show you what I mean. Oops, let's go back here. So let's go to the footer. Here's what it says right now. So we want to change that to say, for example, copyright wpbasics.org, and pretty much that's it. That's all we want it to say. So let's do that. So what we want to do is it's in, if you notice here, it's within two paragraph tags. Those can stay. And each little thing here with, within these square brackets represents a short code. So the only short code we really want to leave is this one. And then this thing that says with the ampersand and mid dot, that creates a little bit of a dot. So the rest, you can take it out. So let's go ahead and do that. Take it out. Okay, delete that. And don't worry about messing it up because if you do mess it up, you can always just hit reset and it'll put back everything. So just go ahead and do it, play with it, go ahead. So go ahead and press save settings and let's see what we have so far. Now let's go back to our website. Oh, didn't take anything. Oh, we have the one thing I forgot. See here where it says uh, footer output? Put a little check mark here where it says modify entire footer text. Put a little check mark there, okay? So let's go ahead and hit click refresh. Now it's gone. So it, now it says copyright at uh, 2016 and it has the little dot. So now let's do the rest of it, the, uh, the edit. So what we can do now here after the dot, we can just type in whatever we want it to say. So in this case, let's say WP basics. Okay, so let's save that. And let's go back and have a look at what we have so far. And there we have, we have WP Basics copyright. Now we can turn this WP Basics into a link if we want it to very easily, and I'll show you how to do that. Easiest way to do this is just cut this out. 
control X on PC to we'll cut it and then just put these uh, tags double open double uh, greater than and less than signs then in the first one you put a forward slash pardon me a href equals and in here you would put whatever you want it to link to it, the, the URL of what you want it to link to for now I'll just put a placeholder as a, a pound sign and in here we just put a closing tag of a and a for, uh, forward slash and in here we can paste what we cut out the WP basics now let's save that and if we refresh now if we were to click here, it, it won't take us anywhere now. It'll just take us here. But if, if we put a, a different website, uh, we could do that. Uh, and it would take us there. So now you have an active uh, photo credit the way you want it to. Now, this is not the only thing that it can do for us. As you can see, when we um, added the plugin, the metadata here changed. So let's go into an actual post so it's easier to see. So we can see here the, the metadata. So it says right now, January 5th, uh, 2016 by WP Basics, leave a comment and edit. We may not want that, or we might wanna change that, uh, that, that the way this is ordered. So let's say we wanted it to say by WP Basics, and then we wanted the date after it instead, just for example. So we can easily do that. We would simply go into here, where it says above en entry meta, above content, and simply take uh, this short code that says post date, mm -hmm. control X to remove it, and then put a put it in there, put a space, and then once you're in between, just paste the code there. Let's save that setting there. And then let's go refresh this. And you can see here by the, by WP basics, the date and leave a comment. Now you can order that however you want and uh, the same thing can you can do for these uh, these tags down here at the at the end of your uh, post. You have tagged with jQuery and you have uh, these things. If you want them dug that, that's fine, but if you, you can easily remove them, you would just go into here. For example, here, let's take them out. Okay, let's refresh that and you can see they're gone. Just, to, just like that, they're gone. So let's put it back. Now, there, there are a number of tags that you can use. If you want to see other tags that you can use, just click on this little link here, and you can see all the tags that are available to you along with a description and uh, to show you what it's all about. Well, that's the end of this uh, tutorial. I hope you like this uh, tutorial. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe, and if there's other situations or requests for tutorials that you might have, just shoot me a comment, and uh, I'll be sure to get to it as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye-bye.